This quick tutorial is going to show you how to export and then import contact groups. So if you go over here to mail and go into change it to your contacts and go into your contacts, underneath my contacts you may or may not have um, some of those distribution groups that you've created. So here's a bunch that I created and let's just say um, there is a large, you know, group, a large contact group. Um, you know, this is my curriculum and technology team from last year. And you want someone else to be able to take this group and be able to import it so they don't have to redo the same process. You can um, click on the group you want to export. Go to more. And you're going to export that group. And you want to make sure this says you want to export this particular group. And you can choose any of the ones that you have, right? I'm going to export the group cat. You're going to keep it as Google CSV format and we're going to export. You're going to see down here it downloaded it. So um, if you're on a PC, the desktop, whatever, it's going to download into your downloads folder, but you'll see what it's called there. You can then, you know, take this, I'll show this file in the folder, right? Um, you can take that file right there and email it to whoever you want. Attach, make an attachment in email and send it to whoever you want. Um, and then when the person gets it in their email, um, they can save that attachment on the desktop or wherever. They would then go into contacts like this. They would scroll down here to import contacts. Choose file. They would locate that file that you just shared with them via email. And in this case, it was uh, a Google One. Oops. So right here, you can double click that or single click and then open. You can see it's placed right there. And once we import that, you're going to see up here, it will show up in my contact groups. It's taking a second. Okay, and you can see right here, imported 102315. Okay, that's how it's going to show up, and you would just simply, um, you can have, while it's highlighted, you can go to the more, you can say rename group and name it the proper name. You can do a curriculum and technology team. And uh, all of a sudden, those other users have that same contact group that, that you created.